Scorpio. <laughs> What's up, water babies? Wish poppy. What's going on in the life of a scorpion for mid month June 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in the space of working on yourself? respecting, trusting your feelings and your instincts because your intuition is at an all-time high. And are you guys focused on your life path, what you're supposed to be doing? I gotta get the bill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Love Terror channel. This first time you're in my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time you're in my channel, my shit cutting up. I cuss, all right? So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reading here on YouTube. The further assist you guys, because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? Um, also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family, y'all. We do the dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. <laughs> but we do cuss. We love. We laugh. We grow. We evolve. We cry sometimes. You know, we want a big happy family, but it's positive vibes only over here, all right? To the returning subscribers, gang, 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 familia. What's going on with you guys? I've missed y'all so very much, my water babies. Y'all got mad at me, I think, last time because y'all views had went down or whatever. I say, what's this supposed to be mad because I said something about maybe y'all cross watchers ain't want to hear me talking my shit. I don't know. I ain't going to blame it on y'all. All right, we ain't going to point no fingers, no elbows. We just going to say, Scorpio, y'all might have hurt my feelings or whatnot. But because I love you, I get over it quick. Aries, we get over shit quick, fast. <laughs> Ready your nose to the night, all right? You guys, um, this man may not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest, all right? Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate that. You guys, um, I currently have a reading special going on. Go check out the community tab, all right? It's only for, it's a flash sale. So y'all know they come they come in, they go fast, all right? It's the summertime, so I'm going to start incorporating a lot of sales. So y'all definitely pay attention to the community tab. Um, also, what else was I missing? Oh, you guys, again, ain't going to resonate with everybody. It's a general, right? You need a personal. It can be found in the description. Let's get it. I don't like these damn long intros. So, for my scorpions, for some reason when I started you guys, is, um, when I started meditating on your energy before I started the reading, I thought this, it was like a game of tug of war. But it was interesting because it was like both sides was just like, I'm going to pull a little. But both sides was intrigued with how much the other one was willing to pull and I feel like then I also heard the word wait so I definitely feel like someone has there could be some type of power struggles in a union this could be a situation ship um I definitely feel like someone is used to one thing but what's happening or how they're moving um it's like two people that think they can read each other but really on the cool they really need to talk to one another because they could be on the same page because the feelings and the attraction is the same but there's like a power struggle, right? So you guys don't know who that was for, but you guys take it and roll with it, right? So we're going to start with your intuitive messages first. What I got for my scud bills for the mid-month of June, okay? I mean, y'all could also be dealing with somebody who has some type of addiction issues. What I got for you guys is patience, compromise, awakenings, career path, closure, Forgiveness, misunderstanding, life cycles, emotional abundance, healing, starting over, solid moves, I just don't know what to say, surprise reveals, good fortune, karma, new love, investments, spiritual path, just letting it go. Communication, resetting foundations, renewal, call them already, elevation, foundations, I'm sorry, lessons in disguise, okay? Y'all be writing, when I be writing, I be in meditative mode, so I be writing shit, chip y'all over to play a little chicken scratch. You from the South, you know about that chicken scratch. <laughs> so if the intuitive messages did resonate with you guys, this is your message, let's talk about it, all right? So, overall reading around the, overall energy around the read, you guys, we got the eight of clubs, okay? So, some of you guys could just be focusing on work. I'm also hearing distraction. Some of you guys could be using work as a distraction to not deal with your emotions, okay? First angel message that you guys got for the month comes from Archangel Asriel. You guys got counselor. Let me put it up close so y'all can see. 
Some of you guys are receiving some type of insight. I'm still trying to struggle with this damn thing. I ain't a rich bitch yet. When I am, um, I'm getting two more computers because I've had two go out on me in <laughs> one year. Shit. All right, so let's get it. <clears throat> Your message from Archangel Azrael reads. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance, okay? So some of you all could want to actually, um, I definitely feel like there's some type of, there's some type of movement or there's some type of information that you guys are going to be receiving or some type of movement around the act. There could be, some of y'all could also be moving away from having an inactive or an overactive damn sacral chakra. Some of you all could also be connecting with your ancestors to your dreams. They're giving you some type of insight, some type of direction. Others of you, you're being used as a vessel to receive some type of messages. Okay, so for those of you who are uh, tarot card readers, for those of you who are healers, there is some type of ascension that you all are going through when it comes to an awakening. Some of y'all could also be receiving some new spiritual gifts. Some of y'all, it's the gift of uh, dreams. Some of you guys, it could also be uh, the gift of healing people with your hands. Some of you guys could be massage therapists. Some of you guys could also be wanting to go back to school during this time. Some of y'all want to go to school for psychology. Others of you have a path uh, towards... Some of you guys have a path that's tied towards people with mental health issues or mental health illnesses, addictions. Some of you guys could want to be a children's a children's counselor or like some type of volunteer to assist children um with like lesser who have um lesser needs or children who are disabled. Others of you have a calling to work with the elderly, okay? You are a natural healer, you're a nurturer, baby. Next message that you guys got is sensitivity. Archangel Heniel. You are an extra you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings, okay? Shit, people call y'all selfish any fucking way. It's time to put the hat on. Fuck. But you definitely need it. I'm being funny. Don't be too selfish. But definitely um, take time for self-care. Some of you all may also be uh, into gardening during this time. Some of y'all may have some type of archangel encounter or some type of watchman's encounter. Some of you guys may be seeing white cranes, white birds, white doves, pelicans. Some of y'all during this time may be attracted to floral things, floral smells, springish type smells. Somebody want to dye their hair magenta. Others of you, you're being watched over by your guides. You need to know that some of y'all are very, very much so covered by our ancestor. For some of you all, this is a grandmother or a mother figure. Others of you just have to do. Some of y'all lost, somebody lost a sister. I'm hearing six. This could have been the last six years, six months. I don't want to get into that because that's sad, but she wants you to know that you are okay. Others of you, um, you may be connecting with winged animals. You may be seeing cardinals, blue jays a lot during this time. For some of you all, you're needing to interact and get more so outside to hone your emotions because you may have some type of like emotional shift during these full moon cycles in this Neptune retrograde, as well as the Mercury fucking retrograde that just went in. Mercury just went into cancer, y'all. <laughs> Be quiet. Tonight is the night that we ride. All the exes want to come back. All the exes coming back with them. Yeah. With intentions inside. We a child. Listen. I was a, I was a juvenile. You understand? I was a juvenile fan. A little juvenile love. <laughs> I just remix the shit out them words. Because I don't like when I don't know the words. I'm just keep it going. My choir teacher told me just la 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 my way out. You know, don't stop singing. Just la la la. La 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 la. La 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 la. You can never go wrong with the la. La 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 la. But I won't be quiet. Tonight is the night that we ride. Okay, so just you guys, I don't know about y'all be hiding under my bed. All right, I don't, I don't do these old exes coming back retrograde shit. You know, my my attitude is a bit different now. I don't. I used to have all the tolerance in the world. I, I think it died. I, I I don't know what happened to it. But you know, Scorpio, a lot of y'all, I'm really feeling to share this with y'all because y'all can. He is naive. You feels me. Do you understand me? Let's get it. So what messages do you have for my scorpions? So I'm rising to Venus. Now to the end. Okay. So some of y'all, this is definitely about a divine partnership union with the union card in the 56, equal and not to the number 11. Some of you guys, that was that, I, I see the rope again. So some of you all, there is truly love in the union. Some of y'all going to miss out on the opportunity to truly love and embrace someone in one of you guys. You or the other person does not open up and express yourself. I'm hearing they don't know how. Write this person a letter, Scorpio, if you have to. 
Okay, so the next message that you guys got was moving on to common waters. Okay, so some of you guys could have people coming back from the past that want to apologize. They want closure in situations. Okay, and for, for the most part, this is about unity. Okay, this could also be about this soul union. Okay, moving on to common waters. Someone has to open up emotionally for the other person to truly trust them with their heart. Because someone feels as if they're on the outside, well, they're on the, someone feels as if they're stuck in a situation and it's like they feel like a prisoner to their own thoughts. And the reason being is because it's like some of y'all could also have naysayers, okay? Some of you all, this could also be you sharing, um, you sharing your opinions with others or some of y'all feel stuck in a situation in which you can't release yourself from. Even though you want to be free from it, the reason why you can't release yourself from it is because, baby, that number 26, it is infinite. Some of y'all just have to do with a past life love. Others of you, this definitely has to do, some of y'all, somebody could be getting out of jail, shit. But others of you, this definitely has to do with a situation that you, that you feel... You feel obligated. I feel the energy of guilt as well. Like someone feels as if they have to, they have to get this relationship to a to a better place. Maybe they didn't make the best decisions in the past. Like someone is recognizing a missed opportunity while another person is freeing themselves, and they feel as if they're losing their grips or something. Okay. All right. The next card we have is number forty nine. My love for you is deeper than the ocean. Okay. For some of you, this is about expressing your emotions. Okay, there's definitely a focus on the throat chakra. For others of you with the with the 49 being here, that's number 13, okay? Equals and also four. Things are coming to us. Things are being stabilized behind the scenes, but I definitely feel like spirit needs you to open up and express yourself. It's something about expression. Like, I feel the energy of someone not knowing or this, this lingering energy of the unknown. And it's two people who genuinely love each other. Look at the back. Look at the bottom of these cards, baby. This is, this is the bottom of the deck. Okay, number 24, again, that's six, harmony. You are my other half, the yin to my yang. And if we could just bring this thing to, into harmony, we can move and really conquer. We, we can literally knock down mountains. We could push this damn door open because we've already built the foundations with our love and make it a home. Somebody got to open up. Y'all, this is making me all emotional. Someone feels as if they, someone feels a bit prideful, but it's kind of interesting because they're not, it's not coming off as prideful, like arrogant towards you. It's a bit, someone feels, I'm getting the energy of one person is victimized and one person, it's like two people needing to see, step outside of a situation and their feelings to see the other one's point of view, but not look at it from an emotional standpoint or a place of judgment or blame, but look at it from as an opportunity to learn. Yeah. But some of you all, you feel burdened by a situation possibly involving a fire sign. Some of you guys are releasing your burdens having to do with the fire sign. Or releasing it. Some of you feel as if all hope is lost when it comes to reconciliation, okay? In some type of family matter, or this definitely has to do with fire. I see a lot of fire up here this far. Let's just do that. This could also be a fire sign doing so to you. Someone is releasing the burden of allowing a third party situation, okay? So I definitely feel like someone could feel as if uh, someone, I'm also feeling here, someone wants to reconcile with another person, but maybe they work too much. Maybe the energy, like there's a job or something, whether it's like someone's been working, someone feels as if someone else's work is a distraction. Yeah. Scorpio, some of you guys are releasing your burdens around an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that puts you in, in some type of third party situation. This could involve family as well. All right. For some of you all, huh. Some type of perspective shift, okay? Someone is getting ready to have a tower moment. Some of you guys, you could be bringing a tower moment up. Some of you guys could be bringing a tower moment. Or you feel as if you were abandoned. Or some of y'all could be dealing with another Scorpio. Or an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like this person wanted to reconcile with you because you have children together. But I definitely feel that some of y'all have had a different perspective on the whole situation. And some of y'all could be dealing with someone wanting to reconcile. Some of y'all could be dealing with a partner that wants to reconcile with, or well, I'll say this, someone from your partner's past wants to reconcile with them 
because they feel in this place of lack, okay, they're needing, they're kind of codependent. I definitely feel like your partner, there could have been a lot of arguments. There could have also been some type of news coming out about a third party situation that makes someone move forward, take a leap of faith. Fuck it, I ain't worried about the money, I ain't worried about it. But some of you all, this is about some type of perspective shift that you may receive, possibly involving an Aries. Some of you all, this could also be pregnancy. Some of y'all may find out that someone is pregnancy pregnant with these fish, okay? Or there could be, maybe you reunite with someone and there's some type of pregnancies that happen fast. I definitely feel like some of y'all are destined to have some type of reconciliation to get you out of a situation that you feel stuck in or that you feel as if you were slave to your loyalty in because you have a new beginning. For some of y'all, you walk away from the hurt. Walk away from this energy of holding on to things from the past. If you walk away from this energy of defense, feeling as if you have to defend yourself with another person, there can be a new beginning. But someone has this fear of rejection. And so they, instead of moving on, they sit in situations in which they're uncomfortable. Some of y'all, the lesson is about letting go. For others of you, someone could have actually left someone else in the past. Uh, for someone who they thought had more money and was going to take care of them financially. And however, this person who you left could have taken a leap of faith and walked away from um, you. Or this could be another person. Scorpio, you walking away from another person. Y'all take the shit how it resonate now. But I definitely feel like someone is kind of not in the know of should they walk away from an emotional connection or emotional tie that they have with another person. Possibly due to the fact that this person could have children with you. I definitely feel like some of y'all are wanting to move away from turbulent times and moving up, move away from that emotional feeling as if you have to defend yourself because you and this other person want this new beginning. Definitely for some of you all, some of y'all, you could have a fire sign. Every feel sad. You could be moving away from a fire sign because you find out that they're married. Some of y'all could be finding out that this person or someone could be moving away from you because they're finding out that you have some type of attachment to um, a child that was made in a third party situation, okay? Let's clarify just a little bit here. Why is the higher fit here? Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Taurus. Some of y'all could find out that you were pregnant by Taurus. Just when you thought you was going to leave, now you're internally conflicted because you're just like, well, damn, this person wanted a commitment. Should I stay with this, stay due to this baby situation? Okay. Should I stay with this news that I just recently found out and take this leap of faith towards my family, walking away from things that could have happened in the past, walking away from resentment, forgiving the situation to go rebuild? Some of y'all may be seeing 333 three, three a whole lot. It's time to expand, baby. That could even <laughs> represent this baby. <laughs> I'm petty. Y'all like, no, God, I don't want to hear about no damn baby. <laughs> I feel it. I know it. <laughs> the Empress. Why is the Empress here? I got three to fail. Yeah, for some of you all, the definitely about family. For some of you all, this is you actually releasing the situation. Some of y'all could be releasing one fire sign and going to another one. Others of y'all could be dealing with the Libra, Pisces. Um, Taurus, Virgo here, um, Leo in the building, okay? But I definitely feel like there's a stable offer here, but someone needs to move away from something else. However, someone needs to speak their truth because some of y'all are standing in a situation because you don't know how to say it. You don't know how to speak your damn truth. There's an issue with letting go. Someone needs to move away from the codependent aspect of their relationship because there's definitely a cycle ending here with a perspective change or shift. Why is the fool here? Damn, the fool had three cards, okay? So for some of you all, this is about wanting to reconcile with the soulmate and make an offer. But with this four of cups here, there's this feeling of rejection. Someone just, you know, someone's offer being overlooked, not seen. That's to speak up, okay. I have a tower here. Yeah, for some of you all. Some of y'all having a shift in perspective. I need something that is equally given. I need to have this equal give and take. Before I accept any offer, I'm going to set that damn boundary because that's a cycle that has been following me for quite some time. So no longer do I have to be, no longer do I know, no longer do I have to be defensive, okay? Why is the three of swords here with the three of wands? Yeah, balance. Balancing out a situation, okay? So for some of you all, the balance coming into a situation does does come with someone moving away from it. So if there was a third party, the third party is being dropped and someone is putting in the work to save their relationship, to restart, renew a foundation, okay? And I definitely feel for some of y'all, this is working on something brand new, 
starting over, okay, for some of us, but brand new. Some of y'all also may be uh, hearing back from a job that you could have applied for. Brand new opportunity in finances as well, okay? So, you guys, this is what I have for you guys. 20 minutes? Yeah. Y'all slick, slick. Listen, <laughs> I was trying to make all these messages short so I can get everybody, mostly everybody slid in today. Y'all, 20 minutes? Yeah, that's what I have for y'all look. All right, if this resonates, I love y'all. This resonates, you guys. Uh, feel free to get a personal. That information can be found in the, uh, in the description. And again, go to that damn community tab. Save your shmoney, honey. Okay? I send you guys well wishes, love, peace, abundance, blessings, and namaste, babies. Bye, y'all.